I'm looking around because I know I've been watching my channel. I'm in a good neighborhood. I still don't play. They be tripping. I'm in a good neighborhood. I love that shade. I just miss y'all so much. Because this right here, y'all see like this dark area? This is where I be laying like the baby hairs from the wig. Look how horrible that's. That's how dark I got. And then right here, I don't know what this is because this is light. I don't know. Maybe I need to take some alcohol and rub again because I did my skincare. But it's a weird line of demarcation. And y'all see it's really light right here. So I don't know what that's all about. That looks kind of weird. But I just picked y'all up. Just to show y'all that I got some hair on my head. I ain't bald. I got some, you know, I got some thin areas because y'all know I got alopecia. But they're literally like very, very minimal thin areas, y'all. Like my hair is a lot, baby. And I told y'all in the beginning of the vlog, well, not too long ago, like a few minutes ago, I have a lot of gray hair. I just turned 35, y'all. So <laughs> your girl is grown, grown over here. <laughs> So your girl be having like gray hairs appearing out of nowhere. Oh lower y'all spinning and twirling. Yeah, I got gray hairs everywhere. And they're getting more and more and more in abundance as, as the older I get. Um, so I don't know what that all about, but at least I did not gray early. So that's a good thing. I'm not planning on dying the gray hairs either because y'all know I wear wigs no point of dyeing my gray hair is when I don't even wear my hair out. And even if I do wear my, which I usually do wear my hair out when I'm not on camera, but even when I wear my hair out, I'm going to embrace it. Because it's not that bad. Even if I get like a little patch, I think that's cute to me when people wear that little gray patch. So, anyway, enough of that small talk. We are on our way to a very intense workout. 
a few days after vacation. I gotta get back on it. Now, y'all know that I just came off of a cruise, so that's a lot of walking. You know, it's not like this is nothing new for you girls. I mean, you know, I do my little five mile walk, plus I do my little sprints in between the walk and stuff like that. So it's not like I took a break break from working out. But I wasn't, you know, this time I'm eating healthy and I'm not drinking every doggone day or holding a drink in my hand while I'm walking the boat or walking the island. Y'all know how that get. So yeah, uh, probably sometime in the vlog I'll show y'all some of the souvenirs that I got, but it's nothing too special. I probably might not show y'all that at all. I might show Instagram that. <laughs> Who knows? Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Ooh, Lord. PCOS, the little hair I clipped off. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, underscore eyes of Jess. Again, underscore eyes of Jess. I might put it on the screen, I might not. Um, I will definitely link it in the description box so y'all can find my Instagram because y'all know I don't have that many followers like that. And it's not a big deal. So, um, but yeah, make sure if y'all want to keep up with your girl because I'll be posting very, very, very interesting things on my stories. <laughs> then make sure y'all follow your girl. But yeah, we're on our way to a workout. Um, I had me a little Celsius, eye. <laughs> and I drank the whole can, which is a big mistake because I usually don't like drinking the whole can. Um, I think it's not necessary to drink the whole can. I don't need that much energy. I'm not falling behind in energy of B12 or nothing like that. Plus, Celsius be going through you, girl. Like, I'm not going through me like number two, number one. Like, I be having to pee. So I'ma definitely uh, bring me a bottle of water because it's super hot out here. And but like I said, I'm not. It's not like I'm not used to it, girl. I just came from the Bahamas, Turks and DR. DR was very hot. DR was hot. Turks was a little cool because we got rained on a little bit when we was on that boat tour. And then um, the Bahamas, baby, it was a blaze, baby. The Bahamas was blazing hot. Oh my God, we had stayed in the water the whole time. So, mm, hopefully I filmed as much as I could on that vlog. I, I'm still in the middle of editing it. So, I'll probably drop that vlog later on tonight because I drop my vlogs at night or in the afternoon. I don't know if you guys know that. If it's not the afternoon, when people getting off of work, it's at night, okay? And I usually upload it. It's like a big window of opportunity between 2 and 10 p.m. Y'all gonna see a vlog and it's gonna pop up, okay? Um, I used to let people know, hey, I'm about to drop one and whatever like that, but it don't make no difference. Y'all gonna watch it when y'all wanna watch it, right? So, I be, and yes, I do promote my channel still. So, I don't know how we got into promoting channels and all that, girl. Y'all, if y'all like my content, y'all watch it. Because <laughs> I always promote my channel every single day, and that's no surprise and that's no secret. Because if you guys know and if y'all are subscribed to this channel, I really have, I've gained subscribers by promoting my channel. Most, like 90% of my subscribers come from me promoting the channel. And that's on all across all social media. So, anyway, you guys, I am talking too much. I need to get on this track. I definitely need to at least take care of, because I'm going to be doing a lot of walking anyway today. I got to do a lot of grocery shopping child a lot of grocery shopping a lot of grocery shopping i have no groceries i don't know if y'all do that y'all need to understand i live in houston texas it is really 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 what is the counterproductive i think it's counterproductive or whatever word i'm trying to find to buy groceries before you go on a trip even before you even if you're not going on a trip if you know a storm is coming why are you buying refrigerator full of groceries freezer full of groceries and i'm speaking on storms i'm speaking on vacations i'm speaking on if you know that something gonna happen are you gonna be away from your house why are you buying all that that's first of all you hurt in your pockets i don't care how much money you make you hurting your pockets by doing it because you could have saved that money buy a whole bunch of dry goods so we do have a lot of dry goods in there but it's time for groceries because we're gonna be in houston you know what I'm saying? And then my daughter, she's back. So I got to make sure she's well fed. I can't just think about myself. But anyway, enough is enough. Um, if I don't show y'all my little workout montage today, y'all will definitely see it. Or maybe I'll do several montages. Look, Oh, yeah. Y'all, look at this. 
I relax my hair. Y'all see how my hair is so many different textures? Like, this is my real texture right here. Coily. Like, I'm like 4C, coily. I don't know. This is a, a, this is the divine curl right here. Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Look how pretty that curl is. And then you see this right here. Trash. Y'all see this? Trash right here. Like, trash, trash. And then y'all see this piece of trash right here. That's from when I wore my leave. I don't know. I, I was a vlogger. Yes, I was. I did a, a video where I did a quick weave on myself. And I'm probably just going to cut this. Since I don't wear my hair out like this. I just should have cut it. But this is when I did a quick weave on myself uh, about a few years ago, like two years ago. And I relaxed my leave out. Big mistake, but like I said, I don't wear my hair out. I think this is a gray hair. I don't even think that's dirt. Oh no, that's dirt. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I had relaxed. See, it's trying to get back to normal. But y'all, that's from two years ago. And look, it's just now trying to revert. That's crazy. Because it's, it's long. This area right here, like this whole area of my hair, all is long. It's just right here. It's just thin. Right here. That's all. See? It's just thin, thin. This is hair right here. It's just really, really light and very, very thin. So. But enough of the transparency, even though y'all gonna get more transparent just because that's how we do over here. I will talk to y'all in a later clip or in a couple of seconds for y'all. For me, it's gonna be a few hours. <laughs> maybe tomorrow who knows but i'm definitely putting back on my wig before i go grocery shopping because we're gonna do some more fun things um i know i'm dropping two videos before this i already filmed a no Ooh, i don't know what maybe this is water anyway enough talking i will see y'all in a few seconds for y'all and a few hours for me bye bye let me show you how to do a singing bitch crazy You was proud when Lennox, you the one on Peachtree I was with the beach see, see you when you're loving hip-hop and DC These petty niggas is a bitch, I know If I say it, who on wax, I'll be bitch, I know If I'm sippin' in the club, niggas miss, I know I got a big fat ass, big dick, I know Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him with a back shot Hit him with a ass shot, suck him to the dick, then I hit him with a cash drop Big, I hit it with the cap block. I'm gonna pull. I hit it with the mascot. No, I never been there, but I like the big cop. Big fat titties when they hanging on my tank top. <gasps> you gon' play me? What is the fam nigga trying to shade me? With your bitch at home trying to play me? I'm Nicki and Weezy and Baby. Me and fuck you and your lady. Gun but you cause you shady. That which bitch won it? Cause that bitch did it. I gave him to you, bitch. Don't fuck it, skip, don't fuck it, skip. Big fat ass, big dick swallow. I got a big fat ass, big dick swallow. I got a Big fat ass, big dick swallow. I got a big fat ass, big dick swallow. Okay, y'all, so this is the hair. I know y'all seen that in the montage of me shaking and going. <laughs> it's not no shake and go. But this is by Pizzazz, I believe. That's the name. That's how you say the name. Y'all, look how natural this looks. I ain't even make my part that perfect. I need to actually take this. Um, what you call this? This hot comb and kind of press it backwards a little bit right here so I can have a little volume in the front. Y'all, y'all wouldn't believe I had um, when I wore it a few times, I had like Bantu knots in it. One time I wore it straight, one time it. it Y'all, this is not the first time I'm be wearing this wig. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is like my 10th time wearing this wig. I've had this wig for, I wanna say three weeks, maybe four weeks, maybe a month now. Um, and yeah, it's been holding really well. It's gorgeous. I dyed it jet black. I used the Adore uh, Rinse. Um, I recently dyed it jet black. It was like that brown natural color. Um, I need to get rid of this little hump. It's a little bitty hump. Ooh, shoot. Um, but yeah. Um, it was like in that brown natural color and stuff. And I don't really like that color. I like jet black hair. So this hair is pretty long. I got it in a 26 inch like I showed y'all. Um, I'm fixing my robe so y'all don't see my goodies. 
But yeah, it's gorgeous. Like I said, it's giving natural too. It looks like the texture is very natural. I will say like when it gets a little older, I'm probably gonna add an extra bundle. But other than that, it's not thin at all. Y'all can see it's not thin. It's a pretty thick wig. Um, but when it gets old, I'll just add a little bundle. Y'all know how wigs are. So yeah, I'm in love with this hair. Um, I will say that the only con, it doesn't shed a lot, but it has like a lot of flyaways that I had to tame. Other than that, it's some pretty good hair. Obviously it takes color really well. It takes heat very well. Um, I didn't really show you how to clip, but I had it in, um, what you call those? Pin curls. And I had it in a side part. Y'all, that did not work out for your girl. The curls were pretty, everything like that. Y'all seen, like the curls were cute. Y'all saw me. Y'all like, I know y'all confused when y'all see this clip. Y'all like, why is it straight? And y'all just, and you just showed us you taking down like the pink curls. But I definitely was happy that I was able to show y'all that it holds curls well and you could part it different ways. This is a frontal, by the way. It's not a closure. Um, but yeah, the side part just didn't work for me. And that's why I switched back to the middle part. I've been wearing it in the middle part. I have not been wearing it in the side part. So I guess that's probably why I didn't like it so much. But other than that, your girl looks good. I'm getting ready for a night out. So I just thought this was appropriate, like the middle part and stuff like that. So I will link the wig in the description box, you guys. And I don't know if you guys like this makeup, but y'all know I've shown my makeup. I have did tutorials on here. This is literally the, um, where is that stuff at? This is the skin tint, the Fenty skin on my face. All the rest of the products are drug, drugstore products. So if you guys are interested, I will talk more about makeup on my next vlog. I've talked about it before on my last vlogs or few vlogs, but I definitely wanted to make sure that I dedicated this clip just to the hair. So anyway, you guys, I'm getting ready for a night out and let's continue on with the vlog. I just miss y'all so much. Let's continue on the next clip because I'm gonna be talking to you. Oh my God, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to fix my camera. Oh my God. <laughs> we just witnessed a high. We just witnessed a high speed chase. Oh my God. And what happened was, let me put my phone on this thing before I get pulled over. <laughs> Even though they focus on somebody else right now. Lord have mercy. What is going on in the streets of Houston? Oh my God. Y'all, I need to get Y'all, me and my daughter was just riding around because I forgot. This is so crazy. It's like fake home. I forgot my wallet at home. I'm trying to fix this camera. I forgot my wallet at home. And we went to Chick fil A because I wanted some lemonade for my celery juice. Because I drink celery juice now, more often than not, whatever. And I was like, let me give me some lemonade to mix my celery juice before we go shopping. Because we was heading out the house. Y'all. <laughs> we pull from the restaurant or from Chick-fil-A or whatever. I'm trying to tell y'all this is a story time because we saw the events like unfold. So we were driving. It was making a right on the feeder road from the from the Chick-fil-A. And we had noticed it was a car wreck. And we was like, why is it one car? Like, how did that car get like? Because I didn't yeah, see no other car, was, right? Yeah, because it was a two-lane thing and it was like turned this way. Yes, and the car was facing the freeway. You know how like the feeder road and the car looked like it spinned and faced the freeway. It like it got like hit. A bunch of car parts everywhere. So So we had saw that and we're like, hmm, like how did that car get like that? You know, it was glass and it was just crazy. Okay, so we barely missed that because that's the road we turn on. Oh, thank God. Anyway, but I'm praying for them because they look like it was just an innocent person that got hit. Then we just keep rolling. We, keep, we hear sirens. We're like, woo, 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 woo. we're like, hmm. And me and my daughter talking about, ooh. Well, I was talking about, ooh, it's a drug bus. Like, it's the DEA. 
and they they it's a whole bunch of cops of like unmarked cars like you know how to unmark and they're like boom 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 you're under arrest where's the drugs like that you know stuff like that oh lord you have to and we're thinking like oh okay you know somebody's i wonder where they're going and he you know to bust somebody you know girl we, we hear more and more sirens we driving on the we get on the freeway because we got to go back to get my wallet we hear more and they and all more. behind us and we and they all behind us they come from all directions we're like what is going on yeah, we're like what is going on and then they kept coming like they just kept coming they kept just coming. kept coming it was then, like 20 of them and i looked to my right i looked to my right on the, off the highway it's a red car a red suv Turning going the opposite direction, and the whole front of the car was gone. So I kind of put two and two together. That like, he hit that other car. Yeah. Oh my god! And they was all speeding. Everybody on the highway was stopping. Oh my gosh! It was such a. It wasn't like I'm happy that I seen it. It was such Crazy. an adrenaline rush. Yeah, I've never yeah. seen that in person, like in my life. Like I be seeing it on the news. I be like, oh my god! Like what's going on? Yeah, and I be watching them live streaming, like yeah. live, they be live streaming little chases and stuff. So it's kind of funny to see it in real life. It's like kind of weird. So yeah, we'll pick y'all back up later. We just wanted to share that mini story time of how we witnessed a high speed chase. We witnessed it. That was crazy. <laughs> we'll pick y'all up later. Okay, y'all. But I like those. That's cute. You have a lot of that color, right? But does it go with everything? No. So I don't know how many times we've been to the mall this week, but 7,000 times. <laughs> I am coming to go get my running shoes, AKA Hocus. I already tried them on already and fell in love. So it's over here. So yeah, that's on the agenda to the, for today. I'm getting some home organization things too, but I'll talk about that in the next clip. Anyway, you guys, let me get my shoes because I need them. The talking cloth. You already know. They're comfortable. They're comfortable. Right? They are. These are 140. I like them. They feel kind of comfortable. Okay, so these are high. These are like 165. Let us see. These are 165, y'all. But Ooh, these feel cool. They feel better? I don't know. Yeah, these kind of feel like I'm walking on a cloud, but they look weird though. No. The other one. These are the Hoka Kiwana. We're gonna go ahead and get those. Okay, y'all. So I secured the bag and the box. Foot Locker. Thanks to Foot Locker for sponsoring this video. And <laughs> hey, look at her. Show what you got. What's that? From Hot Topic? Yeah. And she just ordered her other back to school shoes. Girl, this girl been shot. Girl, my card been hurting. Thank God the other pair. I was about to say, the other pair was gifted. But that first pair, baby. And I just bought it three days ago. And I just bought me some sneakers. I need to sit my tail down. That's enough spending. I'm I'm tired of spending. Oh my God. We back in the car, y'all. And it's home. So I got me some stuff from Lockwood. And what I was telling y'all is that she had to order her shoes because we had came back for another pair of shoes. I bought her some. Obviously, we're not sharing which one she's picked. I know y'all probably watched the back to school video already. We not gonna share what she got for real, okay? No. Ooh, what? Anyway, so I went to Foot Locker, and as y'all could tell, I bought me some new running shoes. So tomorrow is gonna be my first day trying these suckers out, cause your girl gotta get back on track, okay? Now I've already have gotten back on track. I've already been working out and stuff like that since my trip or trips or whatever you want to call it but the girl needed the right materials and the right um equipment i guess or right attire so i got me some hokas am i holding this right oh it's upside down hokas 
Y'all, I couldn't wait till I get home because y'all, when I get home, is weed coming? I don't know. I don't know. Is the weed coming out? I'm not sure. I don't know if I got clean. I don't think I got clean. I don't know. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Anyway, I got me some hokas. Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing, a sneaker unboxing. Um. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Lord, him, bless it. So I got the hocus, and they open like this the long way. Okay. I'm struggling, y'all. It's hard to do. Open it. Do what you like to do. The honors and everything. You got to take what you love. Just show them the shoes. So this is what they look like. Thank you for doing honors. So this is the Hoka Kiwanis. Yeah, y'all can see that because it was messing up. These are the Hoka Kiwanis. And when I tell you at first, I did not like them because on the display, look the dirty. And my daughter was telling me they're not dirty. That was the display shoe. So now I'm fully convinced that that was the case. And these are cute. It has like little, I know y'all can see. I have a good YouTube hand so y'all can see. It has like the little, you know, design right here. It's so, so cute. I like it. And these are fully white. So if they get dirty, it's okay. Because I should be running. If I'm running and walking and doing the right thing, they should be getting dirty. Right? If they clean, if these shoes clean, that means I ain't been doing what I was supposed to be doing. Okay? So, yeah. These are cute. And I was thinking, I said, you know what? Let me just go ahead and drop that big 150. <sighs> on these shoes so I'm tired of spending money like I told y'all in the mall put these back in there I don't want them to get dirty yet I want to get dirty when they when I do real stuff I don't want to get dirty when I'm showing them y'all these shoes is high but they feel like I'm walking on a cloud so that is the point that's the point I want to feel light footed because I do a lot of walking. I just want to feel very light footed. I don't want to feel like I'm struggling. And I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you are a walker, if you're a runner, if you're a person that likes to work out, y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyway, y'all, I'm not picking y'all up, y'all, no more. I'm, oh, I think I might. Oh, you want to show this? Oh, we went to Hot Topic. You might as well just make this a mile haul, huh? Because she like, she want to show her stuff. So we went to Hot Topic. I got some other things too, y'all. But your girl don't be picking up the camera. I went shopping the other day too. We went to Sephora. We did. I might show that y'all when I'm getting ready with this girl. We've been shopping it's this vacation, this vacation time when you off work and, and all that. You think you're just gonna be chilling and you know all expenses paid by who? All expenses paid by you, cause I'm paying for everything. <laughs> so this is a blink 182 t-shirt y'all look how <laughs> this is cute oh my god and guess what oh this is not blink 182 my bad yes, this is gorillas guess what gorillas gonna be sliced in half so mm -hmm. two of y'all gonna be over here two of y'all gonna be over here y'all wanna know why cause I'm cutting this shirt all the way in half and I'm tying it in a knot and I'm going out with it so I thought this was cute. I got this in a small and I got this from Hot Topic, okay? And I thought this was so, so cute to go with my pink heels, some jean shorts, keep it real basic, keep it real casual. Cause your girl, when I go out, I go to a bar here and there, happy, happy hour. Bar, happy, girl, ain't nobody dressing up. So I got me a gorilla t-shirt. I thought that was cute. But your girl cutting the sleeves off right here. We cutting them off. I'm gonna show. I'm, I don't know if I'm showing y'all. I don't know if I am because I don't film everything. But I'm literally cutting it how I did my shirt last night because I went out last night. I did not film that, but I cut my shirt to where it was like at an angle on the sleeve, so this whole part is cut off. And then I cut up here. I mean, I cut up in half right here. So these two guys, buy say buy to them over here because y'all gonna be splitting half. So and this was. $24.90. Uh, $24 I don't know if I can see that. Yeah. And I got this one. And then you want to show your shirt? You can show me some shirt. Next shirt, y'all, we got uh, some hot topics. 
is um, it's a nana lid. I don't even I don't think I'm saying that right, but it's these. Well, that's cute. I think it's cute. I've been eyeing it since the last time I went there, so you wear it next to school? Yeah. That's cute. That go with your sneakers. A lot of your sneakers. You can choose mm -hmm. from the one, the other sneaker or the other one. It actually has the colors of both. Mm -hmm. It do though. It kind of do. That's going to be a hard decision. Mm -hmm. and, and then. You should wear that on I the think, first day. I think I'm aware with the uh, New Balances. Yeah. I feel like the tones are there. But this shirt, anyways, y'all, this shirt was 28. But don't tell them what kind of New Balance you got. That's your business. This shirt was uh, 28. Hers 28? was more expensive. They may not hit my car. And this is a uh, extra small, so. Mm -hmm. I like that shirt. That's very, very cute, girl. Mm -hmm. Cute. And what is it saying? Nanalan? Nanalan? Nanalan. And what are these people from? What show is that? I don't know, but I've seen it before. It's really cute. Okay, girl. Well, like I said, we had a good time today. We didn't film everything, but... I'm about to go and run one more errand. I ain't gonna tell y'all about said errand until another day. I could take my time vlogging. I, I don't have to pick y'all up until a whole another two weeks if I want to, because I got videos that's dropping this week. So look out for that. I think I already posted, yeah, I already posted my uh, cruise vlog yesterday. Was it yesterday? I didn't yesterday, yesterday. So I posted that, make sure y'all show me some love on it, because I know I'm not no travel vlogger. Like that. You know, I only post one travel vlog a year. Maybe two. Hustles, I go hard and never break Running through these bed franks, but it's never enough They like, Larry, where you been? I've been running it up Hey, y'all, Lord Let me take Today off my glasses my so y'all can see my face Y'all, that workout, I don't wipe all the sweat off but I need to put my hair back because I'm about to do it. This hair, it shed a little bit because it's curly. And I'm putting it in. So I'm going to put it back. So I can eat my food and show y'all what I got. I went to Leaf and Grain. Let me put on some sanitizer real quick. Yeah, yeah, I hope y'all are feeling okay. Obviously, it's the very next day. I got a workout in. About to do the same thing tomorrow. <laughs> so what I got, I got some leaf and grain. It comes with like this green bag. That's my first time going, by the way. So that's why I picked up the camera. Show y'all what my first impression is. Um, this is a piece of sourdough bread in here. You put it on the side. You could get it mixed in. That's what he told me. You could get it mixed in. Um, so you can get it mixed in. And I got my whips the today I might rock the for no reason. But yeah, it's not out here. I had to put on a jacket and I had to go. I mean not a club, but you know what I mean inside. I was in the channel. Um so yeah. they, he gave me a fork or whatever, but I got some forks that got the cover on. I don't be eating everybody forks. So this is what my bowl look like. My number's going up, I'm like fuck a deal. Sorry, y'all. I had got a phone call. I'm like, oh no. So anyway, this is what my bowl looks like in the inside. It's not the cutest bowl. It's not the cutest bowl at all. But this is what we looking like. Mm. Let's see. It smells good. He did all what I asked him to. He gave me amazing customer service. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep you this up the sack. It's like a salad bowl. So I got like chicken pies, I got avocado, roasted cauliflower, roasted Brussels sprouts, pickled cucumber, crouton, what else I got? Brown rice. I think I got some cabbage in here. Yeah, let's see how we rock it. Let me hold it up.
Mm, okay. okay. Now, I will say, oh, the dressings is the chipotle jalapeno or some jalapeno dress. It's a jalapeno dressing. So make sure y'all get that one. And I mixed it with like a vinaigrette. So I will say this is not better than salada. Okay. It's the quality is like kava. The quality is kava level because uh, kava got some quality. Salada got superb quality because it's fresh. I will say if I had to rank this. Okay. Let me go ahead and compare. Let's be fair here. Let's compare this and sweet green. Sweet green, I tried this last year, around this time last year. I give this one, this is better than sweet green. If you haven't tried sweet green, make sure y'all try that as well so y'all know which one y'all want to choose. Oh, you know, which one is better or if y'all like both. I want to try the sourdough bread with it. That's what they give you on the side. I will say it's on the pricier side. This is a sweet green. This this one, sweet green and salada is around the same price. Especially if you're getting a regular, like a regular salad and salada. And you doing like the seafood mix or whatever you add, like your protein. It turns out to be the same price as leaf and grain and sweet green. Sweet green is expensive. I was like, oh no, I thought they didn't have it, but they have it. Where are you going? They have it. Y'all, this stuff is so good. Oh, you got it? This is what she was trying to get. Look. So, oh. <laughs> but this, the elf. This one kind of feels bigger. What is this? Is this like regular? What was the size? Maybe they had two sizes. She likes this bento box. And what you put, like snacks and lunch in it? And then you got a lunch kit. You got to put it inside of the lunch. Oh, that's cute. So you put your sandwich right there? Yeah. And my snacks. Uh, I think, the, I don't think this matches it. I don't know. I might get a different one. Fuck my y'all, that's a scam. And why is that $4? $4. And, $4 and then this, this is 99 cent. cent. We get the 99 cent. I don't need it, but that's a scam. Ain't no scam. What? <laughs> okay. Do you, have, do you have a locker? You have a locker? Come on, man. What? Do I look like I have a locker? Well, it looks like you do. So. Thank you. This ain't no high school movie. <laughs> Not a high school movie. Hey, y'all. We at Post Houston. Say hey, girl. Hello. We've been here several years. Well, two years ago. Because that's when it first opened two years ago. Then we came again another time, but we didn't film that. So this is like our what third or fourth time here. So I decided to pick up the camera and vlog it again. Y'all need to look at one of my older vlogs, like when I first started vlogging. So anyway, it's a lot going down because Post Houston is downtown. So, huh? Okay. Anyway, it's hot. We're about to get just a nibble on some food. So, we'll be about to nibble on some food. So, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Get too crazy. I'm just not here. 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 I'
Oh, no, get me away from it. It's small too. Maybe. Get me away from that. So, yeah. This is our situation for the next few hours. We might go to the beach. We might go into the city of Galveston later. But we are in San Luis Pass, which is, well, I was like, what is that? Which is between Surfside Beach and Galveston. That's where we are. That's what we are. So anyway, you guys, I will pick y'all up when we start like crabbing, fishing, and doing other things. Okay, see y'all in the moment. Y'all, huh? <laughs> Scratch it out. This is what I'm eating for breakfast, y'all. Look how good that looks. I know it's like a shadow, my shadow. Y'all, I'm already been eating it. This is rhyme bacon, biscuit, buttered biscuits scrambled eggs i got some little syrup somewhere y'all it's so good this is my brunch this is the fish we caught so far did y'all catch any yesterday no just today and what are these it's mackerel mackerel in the and middle two drums two drums mm -hmm. and you about to cut them up yeah you gonna get the bones out filet them. filet uh, okay but i want to watch you cut them let me let me get the first cut on camera. No, so I need no cut. I don't need no cut on that. I just need that. So are you scaling it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's getting a little messy. I might have to pull over. And then you're gonna stab it. Mm -hmm. I think if I ever post this, Peter's gonna put it. No, they won't. They're not. Jada said it'd be looking evil when you be cutting it. <laughs> evil? She's the most oh evil one god. with good stuff. With bugs. Oh my gosh. I think I'm done here. Because <laughs> it keep getting on me. <laughs> so these are the crabs we caught so far. And these are just regular blue crabs. Are these blue crabs now? These are not stone crabs. These are catch. Oh no, I see a stone crab right here. That's one stone. Oh, that's not a stone crab. Oh, that's blue crabs. This is not cat litter, guys. It's just an empty cat litter box it's called Tidy Cats. <laughs> hey, don't get by my taste with that. Okay, so we're eating burgers. This is all the fixings and stuff like that. She's gonna bring in the burgers out. This is the jalapenos. These are my pickles. These are my pickle chips. And there's the burgers. So these are the burgers. Ooh, wow, that looks good. All ready to eat. We gotta get plates. Oh yeah, this is nice. Love it. It's time to eat. Hey y'all, so guess who we are? at the beach y'all know how we do when it's a holiday weekend and we're not trying to fly out <laughs> but y'all 
tell me why I got me a new cooler. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, look, I got it from Walmart. And I got all our goodies in here. I got like some fruit in here. This is a bag of fruit. I have some water. I have a liquid death. Let me show you all Cooler haul. <laughs> I have a liquid death in here. I have some guac, which I'm about to open. Some guacamole and guac, whatever you want to call it. And I have, my daughter, she had like some kool aid cameras. I mean, isn't that cute? And I have some waters in here too. It's just cute. I was gonna put some more stuff, but I was nervous. I love it. And it has wheels on it too. And it has like, it's like a little suitcase. Just pull it up and roll it. Isn't that cute, guys? So, I'm about to eat. With my, I'm gonna eat with my guacamole. Is this the chips with avocado oil? And yeah, let's get started. Okay, guys. So I'm about to eat some of my guacamole. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, I'm so excited! But this is what we're looking like. So cute. So, so cute. And yeah, this is actually my favorite swimsuit, you guys. I got this one from Amazon. So, yeah. If y'all are interested and I find the link, I don't know if it's a link for it anymore because I think it's sold out. And I purchased this swimsuit last year. So, I don't think this necklace is from Shein, by the way. And these earrings are from Shein. And these glasses are from Amazon. If y'all are interested, I will link them. So we're about to enjoy our beach day. Say hey girl, you look gonna say hey to the camera? No. She said hey y'all, look her nails are so cute. So we're about to enjoy our so we both wanna pink. So we're about to have fun. And I will catch y'all in a few on the next clip. We get corn in the cup from this truck, the blue one. like that, huh? <laughs> and it's mine, because I like the red sauce when I give it to her. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to eat my lute, or cut corn in a cup. Maybe I can't say that, corn in a cup. I'm gonna take a chip. I, put, I squirted some lime juice in because I had limes in my lute, and I thought it would be good. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to eat the chip. And this red stuff on mine is hot sauce. I put hot sauce. She don't like the red stuff, so. So I'm trying to get some clean on my shit. She put a lot of cheese on here, though. Which I like. Well, I see the corn. So this is how that looks, all right? And it's on my Siete chips. Mmm. So you want a chip? It's so good. <laughs> Papa Do's. We're going to Papa Do's. 
was like, I want something, you know, to where we know we're going to get towed up. <laughs> Not towed up where we can't drive home. But y'all know what I mean. Like, get a little lit. And um, make sure we eat some good food to kind of coat the liquor and stuff. So, that's what we're eating today. Um, I am very early. I'm a whole hour early. Before, well, I'm getting to the area a whole hour early because I left my house an hour and 30 minutes before because it takes me a long time to get to this area that we're uh, having our uh, happy hour at. So I said, let me be responsible because I got to get her birthday card. Um, I don't know if I'm getting her a birthday card though, but I think I'm going to get her. I know I'm getting her a birthday bag, some tissue paper, some flowers, and I'm getting her a cosmetic item from Ulta. So I'm just going to choose what I think will be best for her, you know, taste and what I've noticed. I love getting uh, my girls a cosmetic item of some sort whether it's hair care, skin care, whatever. I know I usually don't tell y'all what I be getting people, but usually I would include that in their bag. I get other things too. So she has some other things. I know that one of the other items she has in her bag is some Prosecco. This is by LaMarca, so I'm gonna put that in her bag. And as far as other goodies, I'm definitely getting her some flowers. That's number one. <laughs> I'm making sure that I get that. So we're going to head to like a grocery store, like an H&B Kroger, Central Market, whatever is closest to the area. Um, I'm pretty sure it's looking like it's a Kroger that's closest and a Whole Foods. I might hit up that Whole Foods that's over there and get her her flowers. Um, anyway, a long story short, it's raining. The weather is terrible. Terrible. Um, I just got back, if y'all don't notice in the vlog, I just got back from Surfside Beach where um, the weather, it was bad on Saturday morning when I was coming in like to the beach and stuff like that, but I didn't go to the beach until Sunday. Sunday, the weather was perfect in Surfside, but then like during, like during the day, but then at night after 8 p.m., it was pouring. And I was like, ooh, I'm ready to go home, ready to go home. But then I heard that I hear in Houston, it was pouring. So I was like, ain't no way to escape the rain. So this is where we are. And then, oh, by the way, and then this morning, I'm on my way back to Houston. This traffic not in. I'm on my way back to Houston. And it was pouring on my way back here. So I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Um, if I'm looking like that, I'm driving, y'all, obviously. So I was just like, oh, yeah. So I was like, this weather, I already knew the weather was not giving. Um, it wasn't giving Friday when I was, because I went out and about on Friday. I was out and out on Friday. Um, but I wasn't out that long. I went to a happy hour on Friday and stuff like that. So I didn't vlog that, of course. So we are here now. I'm about to run and get her some flowers, a cosmetic item, and her birthday bag tissue paper. And we're gonna head to the place. Um, I hope y'all enjoy the vlog so far. It is not much of a vlog. I don't know what I'm adding to this vlog. It's just gonna be a normal day in the life vlog. Yes, going to the beach, believe it or not, is normal day in the life because I go to the beach a lot. I go to Surfside, I wanna say like once, maybe twice a month, just to get away. So. That's how we're feeling today. I'm probably gonna pretty much stop at that hotel and get her flowers. But I need to hit up that hotel first. I don't know how to do that. So I think I'm gonna hit up that hotel first. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Like I said, everyday life for me is not everyone's everyday life. Everyday life for y'all might be going to get, you know, design a bag. Everyday life for y'all might be going on a, on a plane. Which that is usually part of my everyday life. I just don't vlog that. I'm not a travel vlogger. <laughs> um, or normal life. Not everyday life. Normal life. Um, but um, most of my normal life, I try to film as much as I can. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. Y'all know I be disappearing on y'all because I don't have a lot of supporters like that. I'm big on. Oh, by the way, let's talk about that before, you know. 
I'm gonna talk to y'all some more because y'all definitely coming with me to the store. So I don't think I'm closing off the vlog right now. Um, I'm very big on community. If you know I have a channel, if you know I'm doing YouTube, if you know I'm on social media and I'm trying to grow a following, I don't care if you think I'm serious about it or not. It's free 99 to shout out my channel. It is free 99 to support my channel, to follow my channel, to, su to subscribe to my channel, to like my videos. Then liking my videos puts my videos in the algorithm. Commenting on my videos puts it in the algorithm. Sharing my videos puts me, gets me exposure. Um, obviously, I'm editing these videos and I'm posting these videos. So obviously I want some type of support, you know what I'm saying? Even though if it's serious or for fun or for play play or whatever, I'm taking time out to put this content out for you guys to entertain you guys, you know? And to also to express myself artistically because I be having fun. I be having fun editing. Editing is not hard to me. So enough of the long rant. It's not really a rant because I'm not upset, but enough of the chitter chatter about, um, YouTube and social media and community um, but if you know I'm around you all the time or I'm around you from time to time and you know I have a channel don't hesitate to let people know that I have one okay so you guys I will pick you guys up I'm actually doing my nails in the car I'm doing these like French uh, tip almond nails which are so pretty I think this one is a little crooked but it's okay um, so it's kind of drizzling, raining a little bit, which is okay, but I feel like it's gonna be pouring by the time I get to our uh, final destination for where we're going today. And that's fine. I'll probably do valet, or I will try to park as close as I can. I have an umbrella in here, so I think I'll be okay. My makeup turned out really, really cute. It's looking a little light because I got a tan again, but it's still pretty. The face card is giving as usual. I think I need to blend that brow. It's looking weird right there. So yeah, I'm gonna blend that brow a little bit more. Probably take a spoolie and Ulta and blend it. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I'll pick y'all up. I'm almost actually oh, I'm actually almost to Ulta. So I'm gonna pick y'all up when I get to the stuff. And I might not show y'all what I'm getting for her because again, I don't show y'all what I get for people. But I will definitely pick y'all up in the stuff. Alright, check y'all in a minute. Lay out. One minute. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, look at this. This is so cute. I like this color right here. Riri. I don't know if y'all can see it. This music is crazy. I like hibiscus. Hibiscus. Is it fussy? That's cute too. I love this Fenty Beauty. And I think these are just 25. I think I'm going to get these. Y'all. What kind of vlogging was that? <laughs> no, ma'am. Let's do better. So, I already got the goods from Ulta. I apologize. I was supposed to show y'all, like, everything I got. I might do an Ulta beauty haul. I actually have done some on this channel before. I think it's, like, in a recent vlog. I did, like, a small Ulta beauty haul. But nothing too major. I'm not too much of an Ulta girl. I prefer Sephora because I've had some bad experience. It smells like crawfish over here. Like, I'm talking about like the seasoning. It smells really, really good. Not the seafood, but like the seasoning, the crawfish seasoning. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to get her flowers. Um, I still don't have her bag. Um, it's a CVS right here, but uh, it's a. am trying to get her flowers from Whole Foods. And I know Whole Foods have like some expensive birthday bags and stuff so I'm gonna have to look up and see if it's a dollar tree in the area which I'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna bring me behind in time but that's okay um because I know where a dollar tree is oh my god um so yeah I'm going to get all that together once I get her gift all the way together I'm gonna show y'all her bag and stuff I'm so excited. I love getting people birthday gifts. They don't be giving me no birthday gift. But that's not my character. I still show up for people. And they show up for people show up for me in different ways. So it's not like people don't do things for me, but they do things in a different way, which I definitely appreciate more. You know what I'm saying? 
I appreciate you showing up for me than just giving me a gift. Because gift, like receiving gifts is not my love language. It's not. If you give me a gift, I'm going to be happy. I am going to be happy. I'm going to start crying. I'm going to be happy and whatever like that. But that's not my love language. Quality time is my love language. That's my number one. And number two is physical touch. And I ain't trying to be touching all up on y'all, okay? So, uh, yeah. So, as long as I spend time with you, that is a gift in itself. So, anyway, I don't know why I keep mumbling every time I turn on this camera. Maybe because I'm, I haven't been vlogging and I haven't been talking to y'all. And that's probably why. Um, but I'm headed to Whole Foods real quick. And try to see what I can do for this bag. I got her a really good birthday gift. Like, she's gonna love it. Okay, y'all, let me show you my outfit real quick. So, this, I think y'all can see the whole thing. Hold on. I got people staring at me. I don't know why. Instead of just saying I look good, they just staring. Look what I have on. I have on this skirt, this top, and this sweatshirt. Look at that. And it has, like, pockets. And then this skirt is some sheet in. These tights are from Amazon. This jacket is from Shein. It's like a blazer that I can close. And then um, this ring is from this ring is from AliExpress. This ring is from Shein. This is from Shein. This is from CDs. These nails are from Shein. I don't know if I can see the nails. This bag is from Shein. This necklace is from Shein. This necklace is from Shein. It's like a cherry necklace. Yeah. And then shoes. Yeah, let me see. Yeah. The tights are from Amazon. And the shoes are from Amazon. So. That's what we looking like. Oop. That's what we looking like, y'all. And I finally got the gift together. Let me put y'all on my car mount. I'm running a little bit behind. I'm five minutes late from when the time we're supposed to meet up. But we're not late in general. Y'all know how I do. But yeah, this chair, I forgot to tell y'all, like, this cherry necklace is from Shein. These cherry earrings are from Shein. This is from Shein. Glasses from z -Lo, Wig from Amazon. Yeah, that's how we rockin' today. And like I told y'all, I have a lace bra on under here. But you barely can see it. That wasn't the look I was going for. I wouldn't people to see my bra but I don't know what's going on <laughs> so we're looking cute makeup is by me I do my own face yeah I didn't get to fix this bra and I mean this bra this brow and Ulta but I just fixed it so it looks good so I'm heading to oh y'all let me show y'all I got her bag already ready Happy birthday. She got some good goodies in here. Some really good goodies in here. And y'all, look how gorgeous these flowers are. <laughs> y'all, these are slamming. I hope, ooh, I hope these are not dying. But yeah, these are slamming. Ooh, no. Yeah, the colors on these flowers are amazing. I hope this one not trying to come off the... Let me fix it. There we go. Yeah, these are gorgeous. The perfect fall flowers, I think so. I love them. Okay, so I popped in because I want to show y'all these boots. I think these are the perfect boots for the fall or transition to the fall. Um, I'm about to head out, so I was like, I think I want to wear these boots. So chic. They've been out for, I want to say about a year or two now. These went viral, not last year, but the year before last, I think. Or maybe last year. However, I think I'm going to wear these tonight. So, I'm going to show you. And, like, they're very, like, streetwear-esque. 
so you can wear them whenever you want to, to be honest, in my opinion. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Y'all, these are the perfect boots to me. So these are so unique. And when y'all see them, y'all be like, girl, yeah, I know what you're talking about now. So these are by Draped Outfitters. Okay. And these were pretty expensive for me personally, but for y'all, y'all gonna be like, oh, that's affordable. So I got the boots that button. <laughs> I know y'all seen these everywhere, especially last year. They have them in so many different colors. Denim, brown, army, like army fatigue. So basically what you do, you take, it's like, it's two of these. I'm gonna show y'all. It's two of these right here, right? These are the button, like little pieces that you button on the boot. And then these are the boots without the button things on them. And I think they're so transitional because they're so edgy. They're so edgy. They're perfect when you've got like this plain outfit. I have a plain outfit on. And you just wanna kind of spice it up a little bit. Um, y'all know I don't wear a lot of jewelry like that. I think that's a little soulful. Not to y'all, y'all gonna think these boots soulful. But there's y'all a pig. Talk about your auntie that had two plates. No, five plates at Thanksgiving. And I had one, okay? So you talk about her. But anyway, uh, these are going to be so cute, my outfit today. So I'm going to demonstrate one boot. I don't know if I'm showing, like I'm doing a trial haul and it like that because I got to go. I'll show y'all in the next vlog how they look on. If in my um, thumbnail, I don't know if I'm, you know, sharing how I look in them on my thumbnail. But we'll see when I edit this vlog and do my thumbnail. So basically, you're just taking one of the little things and you're just buttoning at the bottom, making sure it's even. You could do it uneven if you want. It's based on your style, honey. And then you go like you want to. OK, let me show y'all. <laughs> they Y'all like, girl. So you, I got the first buttons button. You can go right here or you can skip a button and you can go ahead and just button it on the the not the button right here but not the button adjacent to the other one or to the first one but you can do the third one right and you want to make sure it's all even because it can do like a little slouchy look that's what i'm kind of looking for tonight a slouchy look so i'm doing every other button so again let me show y'all i'm gonna do this button instead of this button i'm gonna do this instead of this button right here i'm gonna do this button okay so I'm going to button it here, right? Y'all see that? I should button it here. That's how I'm gonna I'm getting it together, y'all. <laughs> I forgot how I did it when I was in the store. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. So I got the boot how I want it to go. Now, how I did it in the store was totally different from this, but I kind of like it. It's kind of giving like corkscrew. I know it's a quiet taste, you guys, but I just love them so much. And at the top, it has like a fold. Like you can fold it over if you want. Like you can do that if you want to, but I'm gonna have them over the knee. So this is gonna go over my knee. And I just think these are so cute. Ah! They're so edgy, you guys. So I'm going to do my other boot like this. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all these boots. Let me hold them this way so y'all can see. And y'all can button them any way you want. And I just think they're so edgy. They're a showstopper. Some people might not like them. They're like, ooh, they shoes ugly or ooh, them shoes cute. I don't care. I love them. And that's all that matters. But yeah, I definitely, you know, take some pictures in them in the future. But for right now, I need to get to where I'm going. So, i see y'all in the next clip. Hey, y'all. I apologize for not vlogging as I've been supposed to vlog. <laughs> y'all, it's been a long time since I picked up this camera and talked to y'all. I've been doing a lot of stuff. Stuff. But I'm here now, so that's what matters. But I was like, let me pick up the camera because I'm in traffic. 
and ignore the face plant, the artificial plant behind me. It is huge. I'm gonna do something with that. I don't know if I'm taking the one out of my living room and putting it in my room and putting this one in the living room because y'all gonna see later on in the vlog, obviously. I'm doing some more home stuff. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but yeah, that's what I picked up yesterday. And then I have like this picture that I'm going to put like a, um, what you call that? Like some uh, art, some art. I'm going to order some art off of um, Amazon or Timu, somebody, so I can put on top of it. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to paint the frame black, but y'all will get into that when I get into that. I don't know if it's going to be in this vlog or the next vlog, but that is the plans that I have. Not concepts of plans. I have plans, okay? <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all made it this far into the vlog. But I was like, let me pick up the camera because I'm on my way to go work out. I'm on my way to do 10K steps. I brought some weights. I'm going to be doing some more different workouts outside. I should have brought my mat. I don't know why I didn't bring my mat, but most of my workouts um, are should be standing and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a lot of outdoor workouts other than my uh, my normal walking ten steps and my sprints because I also sprint. If you guys are new here, when I first started this channel, I used to show y'all how I was sprinting and walking. Um, that is also a secret to fat loss and weight loss. So. If y'all want another video on that, let me know. I think I put up a poll like a month ago about that. And I was asking y'all what y'all want me to talk about more on this channel. I had some votes and it was actually geared towards me um, posting another video on nutrition and fitness. But I need to make sure that I am um, doing that video right. Because I have so much knowledge but I'm still in my own journey, so I'm not ready to kind of share yet um, with all I have been doing. Um, I have been losing weight, but I also have gained weight, and I have been losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight. I also am in, I also get in those stages with the body dysmorphia and stuff like that, and then I will snap out of it two days later and be like, girl, what are you talking about? You look great. So it's just a lot of mental struggles dealing with that obviously a lot of people can feel me on that so it's no surprise but yeah i just wanted to show you out before we start into this conversation because that's not the reason why i picked up the camera to talk about fitness but yeah i got these little weights um i'm gonna link them um i was given these weights as a gift like years ago and i actually work out with these i also have some real actual free weights at home as well but these are weights that you can actually pack up they don't look crazy or nothing like that so like these are like i don't know i think these are like 10 pounds yeah so i'm gonna be lifting at the park i'm so excited and it, it comes with two in a pack if i found the link if i find the link for them or if i find something similar i would definitely link it for you guys you know i don't have no problem sharing a link and then um this jump rope Y'all, y'all pray for me. Don't be talking about me. Talk about your mama. Talk about your cousin and your auntie that haven't been to the gym in three years. Don't talk about me, though. But uh, what I'm saying is that I'm not a good jump roper, but I'm going to be jump roping at the park today. You know, I want to make sure I kind of do some more other training as well. So um, that's what the workout is today. And yeah, we're on our way to the park i pick you know my same park that i usually go every now and then i switch it up a lot so i don't know if y'all noticed that as well your girl be on the move your girl don't like to be predictable when it comes to working out life period my life period is not predictable so if i know my life is like this now just imagine when my daughter finally goes off to college like my daughter is actually almost I'm giving y'all some life updates in this conversation. Then we'll start talking about some serious things and some non-serious things, obviously. But, you know, it's almost that time that I'm about to be an empty nester, you guys. Um, that's it for me. Um, that means no distractions. Not, And, I mean, no good distractions. I mean, my daughter's going to be on her way in life. Um, she's getting ready to get up out my house. <laughs> 
So I need to find what direction I want to go for the rest of my life as an actual person that's going to be living alone. I'm going to be living alone. Obviously, she's going to be living on campus, doing that whole thing. I want that for her. She wants that for herself. But at any given moment, if she wants to, you know, live back at home, she's more than welcome to. And so I will make sure I make those accommodations when that time comes. But anyway, that's, you know, everything kind of led to one another and stuff like that in this conversation. I know this conversation was all over the place for the past six minutes. But I picked up the camera really because I was like, I might as well talk about something that's really, really serious for my women out there. Okay, so um, I've been paying attention. I've been paying attention and to social media, to people that are in my life in real life, because you know, we be touching grass over here. We be logging off and we be living our real lives, hence the fact that I haven't been posting. Um, but yeah, I've been paying attention over the years. Um, Y'all know I've been in therapy for the past five to six years. Actually, going on, no, almost, I'll be on my sixth year uh, coming up. And I've had a lot of breakthroughs through therapy and stuff like that with regard in regards to self-love, in regards to relationships, friendships, family, all that. I don't what is all that? I don't have all the answers, you guys. However, I have learned a lot, not just from my therapist, but also my environment and also just learning what not to do and what to do in life and staying strict on those things. Um, so we're gonna really be talking about as a woman and in regards to the opposite sex right now. Um, I have a lot of younger girls that watch my channel. I also have some women that are my age. Um, I don't have women that are not too older than me because I, I look at my insights and I look at my analytics. I think everybody is up until, like, I think I don't have anybody that is over 44 years old that watches my channel. If we have any spragglers that are older than that, I'm pretty sure they could still relate to this conversation, even though they're probably way more experienced than I am and anyone else that are in, that is in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, right? I also have teenagers that watch my channel as well because I have videos about my daughter on here, okay? So, I want to say is that, you know, number one, when you are setting a boundary pre-dating, not even dating, but in a relationship or just setting a boundary when it comes to the opposite sex, make sure you stick to that boundary until the day you die, okay? And what I'm saying is that take that boundary to the grave. I'm going to say that again, and I'm going to give you an example in a minute take that boundary to the grave do not say well or it's some except no ma'am no ma'am and i'm just talking about in real if y'all see like a little white cast or whatever like that i didn't blend my sunscreen uh as much as i supposed to but that's okay ignore that if you if you pay attention to that you're not my friend and you don't like me so but anyway um you know for example, let's go ahead and just get straight to the point. Let's be direct here. Um, Y'all know when I first started on this channel, and I'm just only speaking on when I started this channel. However, prior to me starting this channel, I've already had this boundary set in place. And that's, that's the boundary of, and this is for me. If this is not your boundary, then this particular example does not apply to you. But, uh, however, if you have another type of boundary that you have set, and you have made exceptions for that boundary. I'm gonna need you to stand firm on that again. And I'm not the type of person that likes to tell people what to do, especially another black woman or another woman. However, I just care about us. And I've seen instances where a lot of us have been putting ourselves in danger or in situations that we did not wanna be in because we did not stand on those boundaries. So let me go ahead and get to my example. My particular boundary is that no man will ever, 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 ever know where I live at. He will never come, and that means coming to my house, being invited to my house, knowing my location, because my location includes where I stay at, where I live. 
um if you guys are new here i was in a and this is based on what i have posted on here so that's why i always bring up my relationship from last year because that's the only relationship that y'all know of okay in my personal life everybody else know the other relationships that i've been in but for y'all y'all know last year i was in a serious relationship with a guy okay and i talked about it posted about it all that um that man never knew where i lived at he never had a clue you could type in my name my current residence will not show up on google like you cannot find me okay if you find me that means you just following me you know what i'm saying and when you and me i have very good instincts i grew up in a household especially i grew up in a two-parent household but i grew up in a very loving household to where my parents always made sure i was safe and they had taught me some things and i also in my adulthood learned some things for myself that if somebody is following me or if i feel like somebody is following me i have different ways to where i kind of can figure that out and i'll take a different route call the police go straight to police station y'all know what y'all know as a woman we know these things right but what i'm getting at is that i set that boundary years ago but i didn't have any knowledge i didn't have any wisdom i didn't have any smarts i didn't have any intelligence when it came to that particular topic i didn't know that that was a boundary that you could set knowing that come on now you're having a child like you want to protect you and your kid and where you lay your head and where your kid lays that lays their head right but as i gotten older and more wiser over time i knew that that oh i think this camera is moving i knew that that is a boundary that i had to stand firm on because of not only do you see it on tv not only do you see it in the news but you see it in society where you know we, we're gonna choose the bear, pretty much. Like, you're in a situation with a man and it doesn't work out, or just in case if it doesn't work out, you don't want that man to know where you live at, come up in there and do some harm to you. You don't want, even if he doesn't do no harm to you, you wanna wash your hands with that person. You don't want that person to pop up. You know, you, I, I understand that it's cute, like back in the 90s, when a man will have the, the stereo box and he'll be outside and you'll look over your balcony and he's downstairs and he's holding up the stereo. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, ladies. And he'll beg you to take him back and, or he will deliver flowers to your, even the delivering the flowers to the house. You know what I'm saying? Oh baby, you'll never know. Oh baby, I will never get no flower delivery unless I'm gonna go pick up the flowers. You can send me some flowers, but I don't know how you're going to do it. Like, you're going to send it to a place where I can pick it up from, like a location. And even that's dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Because you could be at that location waiting on me and doing something to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing is that a man don't never know where I work at. Okay? So, that's the same thing partnered with about knowing where I live at, where knowing where I stay at. He's never invited to come to my my place of where I work. That's my livelihood. That's how I make my money. I don't want you coming up in there trying to do something to me or my coworkers or anybody else that has nothing to do with our situation. First of all, that is workplace violence. That is a violation of the company. I can get fired. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot going into staying firm on your boundaries and not making exceptions. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you can ruin your life by ruin your life you can ruin your life and you can ruin other people's lives because you did not stand firm on your boundaries okay so that's a really good example okay that i have set for myself and i've had that boundary set for the past eight years and i don't plan on breaking it i don't plan on breaking it at all i don't care how close me and that man get and i'm talking about any man i don't care if that man gets down on one knee okay the only moment that he's gonna know that i've ever lived at such and such place is when i'm moving out of the place and that's going to be the fact of i found somewhere else to stay i no longer stay at that residence and i can tell you that i've stayed there before that's how he's gonna know where i've stayed at because i no longer reside there okay and that's the same thing is for my job you know what i'm saying
And even that, that's kind of weird. Cause why would I tell you? I would have to say, I used to work there five years ago. Something like that. Right? I would probably lie about it. You know? So, that's another thing. Another thing too, ladies. I know y'all been hearing this. Hold on. Another thing too, ladies. I know y'all been hearing this one. Okay? And that is... When meeting a man or when talking to a man, because a lot of you guys, y'all really applaud me on how I navigate my dating life. I navigate my dating life very well. Pat on the back. I need a cookie. Give me a cookie. Subway cookie. I want the chocolate chip. I need a cookie, baby, because I was not always like this. That's what I'm saying. I always try to give myself credit. And a lot of people do give me credit because they know how I used to be. I used to be very desperate. <laughs> I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it in the book. I used to be very desperate for love. Desperate for validation. Desperate for attention. Okay. This is prior. This, and I want to say the last time I was desperate was about the year 2019, 2020-ish. 2020-ish. Once I start losing that weight, once I start getting into fitness and stuff, I know that's why I brag about fitness and I talk about fitness so much because fitness really changed my life. Losing weight changed my life. Choosing the healthy, better style, a uh, lifestyle, I don't know why I can't talk, has changed my life. Only because I know I can get any man I want and hence any man I want. Okay, we're going to get to that too. Okay, that means if I don't want him, I don't want him. So his validation does not. So the man, a man that I do not want, that man's validation does not matter. You know what I'm saying? And even the man that I do want, his validation does not matter. You know why? Because I know that what I have capability of does not all center around a man. It centers around my health and my ability to surprise myself and achieve my own goals for myself health wise you know fitness wise financially wise all it but i'm only giving my fitness as an example because it really changed my perspective about the opposite sex that right there is a whole different discussion for a whole nother day when it comes to that as well because there are a lot of subtopics in regards to me and changing my body and losing weight and stuff like that in regards to the opposite sex as well but what I will tell you guys is that never tell a man, um, what I was trying to get at earlier, is that never tell a man your past experiences with another guy. So for instance, I was, you know, heavier, you know, and 2020 is when I had that breakthrough where I lost the 80 pounds, but it was 2021 where I finally saw those results. Cause you know, after a little while, you be like, man, I'm getting plateaued. You can't really see a change in my body because I was really eating healthy the whole, like, 2020, from March up until the end of the year. And then 2021, around my birthday, 2021, that's when I started seeing results like that. I had a six-pack and everything. So I was attracting men that I never attracted before just by looking the way I look. And so my prior experiences with men is that, you know, if I ever was to dis... I'm talking about in my past like prior to me losing the weight prior to me being you know into fitness because everything is subjective like i don't want to say the word fat i don't want to say the word skinny i don't want to say the word in shape because all of that is subjective right but i will say that i am my body is in a different type than what i was before and my experiences with men is that every time i would say something where they didn't like and I was a heavier girl, is that the first thing they would run to is that, you know, shut your fat ass up, or I'm just, I'm being honest. If this conversation offends you, I'm sorry, but this is what they said to me, okay? This is my experience. They'll say, shut, they would, I don't think I ever heard the word ugly. I've never been ugly, but I've, you know, I didn't really come into my looks until I started losing weight. I really didn't really start paying attention to the clothes I wear since I lost weight. So a lot of things did go hand in hand when it comes to me being a bigger girl. Like, I wasn't really into makeup and stuff like that like that. I was, but I didn't know how to do it right. 
I ain't know what kind of clothes look good on my body either like that when I was a heavier girl. So a lot of things were hand in hand to where he will, they will always say, well, you ain't attractive anyway. Or that's what I really want to say, not fat, but you ain't you ain't attractive. And they still be saying that to you when you look good, right? But that's a whole nother discussion for a different day. But they don't say that to me as much now when I diss them, because really I don't come into situations often like that, like I did back then, right? But what I'm trying to get at you guys, is y'all like, girl, get to the damn point. I don't tell a man that, oh, back then, men treated me like trash. Every time I say something he didn't like, whether I was in a relationship with him or not, or where it was just a random guy, is that he would always call me names and uh, he didn't treat me well. He ain't, I never been on a real date. A uh, man never bought me no flowers. A man did, you know, all that prior to my body. Now, like 2019 and in the past, like anything before 2019 or anything before 2020, let's, let's say that. I was never like taking on real dates. I had relationships like that. But real dates. I never was giving flowers. I'm being honest with you guys. And I'm telling y'all this. Okay? But it changed. It changed. And it wasn't because of how I looked. It was my perspective too. It was how I was treating myself. Men see that. Men see that, right? That's a whole nother conversation for a different day. So all I'm trying to say is that's another subtopic. Never tell a man that you was treated bad. That's all I'm telling you. Tell him, hey, everything went fine. We was just focused on different different things in our life. You could even lie and say, oh, I didn't want to be in a relationship at the time. <laughs> even though the guy didn't want to be in a relationship at the time. Right? And lying will get you far because you're going to be giving a man a script to do you the same way or even worse than your past people did because men are like that i know i know it sounds horrible but they like that they are like that because they always want to one up somebody whether it's good or bad if they doing nothing but just good things for you and stuff like that and they don't really have no good intentions with you that's not really one upping anybody that's gonna be hard work for that person when a man don't have really good intentions for you, it's going to be easier for him to one-up a man that did you dirty because he was like, oh, I'll just do her dirtier because I don't really have no good intentions with her anyway. And I want to be remembered in some shape or fashion. If I treat her really well, knowing I don't got no good intentions, that's going to be too hard. You know what I'm saying? Do men like the challenge? Yeah, but the right man likes the challenge, right? And the challenge meaning in a good way. Like they a man like a good challenge meaning that once he gets you, he gets you, right? So if he getting you by being an a-hole, he got you, right? So that's a whole another conversation. Always never tell a man well, uh, never tell a man. Never tell a man what a man did in the past. Cause boy, he's going to do his big one on you. <laughs> but yeah. So, I think I'm going to just keep it at those two things because if I pile it on y'all, we've been talking for like, what, 30 minutes now? Y'all are like, girl, I need, to place, I need to press fast forward. But if you guys want more tips like these, I know one, I know that last one that I just said, y'all have heard recently, but that, that boundary one, please, please, I'm pretty sure y'all heard that one too, but... <laughs> Please just think about what all I was saying about how not standing on those boundaries can affect everybody, whether they're in that situation or not. Just know, stand firm. Like, for instance, you know, hey, me, I'm big on communication, right? But I'm only big on it when the man showed that he know how to communicate first. And y'all know Jessica, she ain't gonna call no man. I ain't calling no man. I ain't texting no man first. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to be the initial texter, the initial phone call person. Can that be a, a red flag for me with men? Maybe. 
But what I'm doing is that I want to make sure that he know that I'm standing firm on the fact that until you show that you know how to communicate, then that's when I can go ahead and do that. But once I feel like there is a crack in that good communication, I'm going to go back right back to what I was doing. I'm going to make sure I stay busy. Oh, that's another thing, but we'll talk about that later. About having hobbies. Lord have mercy. Stop waiting on a man to call you. Girl, do you got something to do that day? You got some errands to run, some bills to pay. You could be working on something that you've been putting off for a couple of years. That's another thing, too, ladies. Like, get up, go get another degree. Uh, go wash your car. Go wipe your baseboard. Clean your baseboards, baby. Clean your baseboards. If you're mad, if you're really mad at them, put on some Betty Wright, baby. You know what I'm saying? If you're really that mad. But, but, but it's not about just staying busy and keep your mind off that man. But you need to be doing what you got to do regardless. Regardless if that man make you happy. Get a hobby, sis. Like, them men, they going to choose themselves first. No matter. Y'all, I thought that was weird right there. Because y'all know I'm driving. They going to choose themselves no matter what. Whether they happy with you or not, they still going to choose themselves. And that's something that I admire. Is there something wrong with that? No. There's nothing wrong with choosing yourself. You're supposed to come first before you are able to do for your partner. And that's what I admire about men. But do they have a lot of red flags? Yes. And I just went over a few of them. So if you know, if you are aware of these red flags that I went over, and you know that everything with them is very ego driven and you have to be that like they are however you do it in the way that benefits you and your purpose in life if you have a purpose in life and you know that purpose a man is not going to deter those boundaries that you said that i talked about he's also not going to change your way of being in your daily routine whether, whereas having a hobby and having things to do, he's not going to change that routine. All you're doing is is finding ways to implement that man in your life. And if he, if he chew, he can be making you happy. And if he does not fit in those plans, I went through that. I, I just talked about that. I talked about that with my, you know, my breakup last year. You know, I didn't fit in his plans. And he didn't fit in mine because I have a lot that's about to go down in my life in the next two years. That if a man is not adding value to what I am doing, all I'm going to do is date you, go on a couple of dates with you. I'm not doing a Saturday night. I'm not doing a Thursday night. You want to go to, let's, uh, we want to go here? Yeah, let's go here. You want to go? Yeah, cool. If we stop getting to know each other, we stop getting to know each other. I'm not about to sit there in the closet with ice cream and cry over you. But anyway, guys, I am perfect timing. I am at my destination, literally about to exit right now. So I will talk to you guys on the next clip. And y'all pray for me on this jump rope. <laughs> And pray that I get this plant out of my car because this plant has been in my car for 24 hours and I have not gotten it out of my car. But yeah, y'all pray for me, y'all, because I definitely need to master this. I definitely am interested in just learning more about my body weight and how to handle that. And jump roping is a skill. Not everybody can do it. And it has to deal with knowing how to move your body because <laughs> you know as kids we was a little lighter than fellas and we was able to jump up and down y'all y'all know how i be uh boss hawking in traffic let me go ahead and cut y'all off i see y'all on the next clip bye <laughs>
Okay, is that better? Okay, kind of better. Okay, y'all, so I am downtown Houston. <laughs> I am celebrating another birthday, you guys. Yes. So I got her, the birthday girl, some flowers. All I gotta do is just write on her card. And these are so pretty. I love these colors. These are called the Brighten Your Day Bouquet. So, yeah. And of course, I'll buy her some drinks tonight. You know, some shots. So, that's what that's what's on the agenda for the evening, you guys. I've been busy for the last couple of days. I went on a date last night. Um, that's normal. Um, let's see, what else? Working out, that's normal. Working, that's normal. Just relaxing at home, that's also normal. So, yeah, that's what's on the agenda tonight. I just have on these, um, what you call these? French tip nails. Um, they're giving French, French advice. That's what they're giving. They're giving French advice. <laughs> but these are by Kiss. If y'all are interested in like the thicker French tip, then I will uh, link these in the description box. These rings right here, these two rings are from Shein. This one is from Shein. This one is from Miss A. Glasses is from Zelo. I know y'all can't really see me that well because it's really dark. Um, but yeah, glasses are from Zelo Wig from Amazon. I put some curls in it for the first time and it looks really good. I didn't really put my fingers all the way through them, but it looks like I'm gonna have to because it's looking kind of weird right here. But I'll fix that. And this part looks straight. But um, yeah, these earrings are from Shein. I have a little breakout right here. I think it's the hair or sweat. I think it's sweat. Um, but yeah, these earrings, these little baby hoops. Not baby hoops, but like, I want to say like small to medium size. It's from Shein. It has, I wore these on my birthday actually. And um, I got this necklace, this J necklace from Shein. This little, um, little necklace. I've been wearing these a lot lately. I don't know what you call these necklaces. I got this from Shein. This top, I don't know if I can see. I know it's a lot of cleavage, but that's what I like. I like my cleavage out. But this top, it has like the bedazzles on the collar. Y'all not gonna even be able to see that unless I have my hair back. But I got this from Dee Dee's. It's so pretty. And my shorts is the same way. My bra is from Victoria's Secret. I like it when it peeks out a little bit. And I really can't really show the shorts because I'm not, I don't want to stand outside and show y'all that it's kind of weird but these shoes i wore these like on um, one of my girls days br girls brunches Ooh, is washing me out because it's silver but these shoes are by guess and these are so comfortable i know they look like church heels but they don't look like church heels to me especially on they don't look like church heels so that's what i'm wearing and the silver bag that i got from Shein, like I'm gonna say two and a half years ago. <laughs> so that's what we're looking like. I have a little blazer to put on top um, to close it up just in case I get cold in the restaurant. We're actually, um, she's having a birthday dinner and it's just gonna be like, I don't know if it's gonna be a trio of us or five of us or six of us, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a birthday dinner at either Taste or Bungalow Downtown Dining. I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah. Um, and then after that, we're going to go out and party and club and drink and all that stuff. So that's what's on the agenda for this beautiful Saturday night. I'm not usually a type of person that goes out on Saturday night. So it is what it is on that. So anyway, you guys, I will catch y'all. I'll probably do some montages because <laughs> I don't want to talk too much, but I'll catch y'all guys on the next clip i'll do some montages of us having fun and stuff like that because i'm not gonna be talking to y'all no more tonight <laughs> all right y'all lay y'all <laughs>
I know they are bad, stop acting innocent We ain't got generational wealth, it's only a year that I've had these millions My whip could have been in a Tokyo drift, cause fast and furious I went from the Toyota Yaris to Euros, they had their chance, I blew it Now this girl want me and her youth, cause fuck it, I'm rich, let's do it Take a look at these diamonds, wrong as a life for squinting, can't just stare With bay through thick and thin, she already fixed, so I'm halfway there Brown and black, could've changed my mind, I was halfway there 100 meters, I just put 9 gal in a sprinter 100 meters, it won't fit in one SUV SOS, somebody rescue me, I got too many, got too many, many, all I got They can last me the next two weeks Alright like send that address through please SUV, the outside white, the inside brown like Michael Jack More time I swear, we never talk much anymore And I'm talking about you and me We don't talk anymore Um, y'all, we have arrived to our destination We are at, excuse the makeup, this is makeup My phone saying last night Anyway, we at local foods And we're about to get us some lunch we have some, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping today. I don't think I'm vlogging that, but I look good today. I got my little LA hat, it got like roses on it. The the chunk hole that black and red has on me these days is great. This necklace from Shein, this necklace from Shein, the ring from Shein. I can't, I can't really go into all the details, but I literally had like a crop top for short, a collar shirt. I think I wore this collar shirt in the vlog before, y'all, but we just chilling today. We just chilling. So anyway, I'm going to see y'all inside. I'm going to show y'all what we eating. We're going to have us a good time. I think this music is copyright too. It is. <laughs> We're going to definitely add some music. Look, she said, hello. We're about to eat. I'm hungry. I 
I'll pick y'all back up probably, possibly. It's looking like tomorrow. I'm probably, I don't know if I'm cooking tomorrow. Or I'm going to show y'all what I'm cooking or it's the next, whatever the next clip is. Y'all going to find out. It might be the next day. Who knows? Sassy on the bitch, VBS, clarity, stone, pressy on the bitch And I'm feeling like the hand of God, bless me in this bitch Put respect up on my name, ho, I'm heavy in this bitch I just won seven Grammys, girl, you gotta fuck me And I got a song with Beyonce, you love me? Poppin' Williams on the floor, yeah, I'm a stunt man Got the city going crazy, look at what you done, man We just having fun, man, D.O.P. the gun, man D.O.T. was on his level, vibe. Okay, hey, y'all, so I did like a little snippet of my nighttime routine I ain't really show everything like the skincare and I gotta hold my glasses down because I'm gonna show y'all where I get these from in a minute. But um, I didn't show everything. I just show like snippets. I also put this plant up. I gotta move this suitcase and stuff like that because I have another trip coming up, but I'm not filming that. But that's besides the point. I have uh, this tree that I finally put up that I showed y'all in some earlier clips in the vlog and I love it. I'm not finished with this room. I just started on my room. I just, I just love this plant. So let me show y'all this pajama set, y'all. Okay, so yeah, this is this is a better angle. So it's so so cute. It's like a leopard two piece, and it's like the shorts. It's by Jessica Simpson, y'all. When I tell you this pajama set is so soft. If I find the link for this, I will put it in the description box. I got it from Ross. It is so comfortable. Like, I am so comfortable in this. The glasses that y'all see, I'm about to take them off because they're getting on my nerves. The light is blinding me. I don't like it. But these gla these blue light glasses are from Shein. I don't know if y'all can see the design up close. Excuse the wig, y'all. Because if it wasn't for y'all, this wig would be out. But, um... It's like a tortoise. No, it's like a tortoise design. I don't know what design it is. I think it's tortoise. Wait, let me stop being long-winded. Let me show you some stuff that I got. I think I'm going to start with the stuff from Shein first. I should try this stuff on. I probably am. I love these, like, scrunch booty. I know it's not for everybody, okay? Don't judge me. I love the scrunch booty biker shorts. I have like, I think I have like the best thighs and legs in the world and I always get complimented on them. So I'm not lying about that. But I like to wear my legs out a lot. It's very hot out here. I run, I walk, I work out outside a lot and these are comfortable to me. Like even though you don't even have to put them up all the way up your butt, but it gives you a cute shape, okay? So I got this in like this pink and white, like this fuchsia and white color. And then the other workout shorts that I got are some green ones, which I'm planning on wearing real, real, real soon. These are some green ones and they're also the same design. It's like a scrunch, but this is a subtle scrunch booty. That's the back, this is the front right here. And look at the color, it's like a sage green, olive greenish. I love it. And I think they're so cute. I'm looking for the bag, okay, okay. So I got the, oh, by the way, these are both, if y'all are interested in my specs for these clothing items, I am a size large, okay? Now, this right here is one of those, what you call it, BBL jackets, like it's really tight. I haven't tried this on yet, but I think I need to, so I know if it fits. These can fit really, really tight. And I got this, and they said that in the description too. And I got this in a size large. Hopefully I don't need to get an XL. I'm losing weight, so if it's real tight now, maybe when I lose weight, it'll be loose. <laughs> so let me try this on for you guys so y'all can see. Like I said, I'm doing tops because I'm tired, guys. 
Like I had a long day. So, and I'm glad I showered and put all, all my smell goods on. Like, and the favorite, my favorite thing about this jacket, oh, it fits, it fits perfectly. Um, it'll look better once I have a bra on or, or uh, what you call those sports bras on. But anyway, it zips all the way up. Like, look how cute that is. So you're covered up here. And then it has the thumb holes. So cute, love that, love that, love that for me. And then it's cropped. Okay, I'm trying not to show my door knockers, but it's cropped, okay? And another fun thing about it is a zipper at the bottom. So you can kind of have it halfway up and then halfway down. Okay, I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying. So cute. I don't want y'all to see my door knocker, so. <laughs> so I thought that was so cute and I'm glad it fits and it's not tight. It's not tight at all. And I got it in white. I got it in white, the same jacket, the same exact jacket in white. Um, The next thing that I got, which I'm probably gonna put on a bra. I don't know where I put my bra at. But it's this top here. Very, very sexy. Very, 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 very sexy top. I finally have the top on. It's hard to figure out because I don't know what's going on with this long string. The other string is two strings in the front. Let me show y'all. Like I had to tie the other one around my waist. This one is too long. So I don't know if I need to tie it around my neck or tie it around my waist. But I just think it's really weird how this is set up. But it's a cute top. Like, look how cute it looks on. Like, it looks really cute from chest up. But then when you go to the bottom, it's like, what's going on? So the next item or items that I have right here is two of the same top. I'm going to try on the black one. And I have it in a cranberry color as well. Because, you know, cranberry is the color right now like a cranberry, burgundy, whatever you want to call it. It's like a net top, like net, 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 whatever you want to call it, top. And it's cropped. And literally you can play with it. You can wear your bra underneath. You can wear a bralette. You can wear any color you want underneath. You can wear this um, like a jumpsuit. You can wear like a whole entire jumpsuit with the pants or whatever underneath. You could do whatever you want with this top. And the sleeves are like a bell sleeve. So it's so fun. It does not get that cold right now in Houston. Like it won't get cold until February. So maybe January, sometimes it get a little chilly in December. Maybe a little winter breeze in November, but baby, it does not get that cold out here in October. So got this in a size large. I don't know if I can see that. Okay, y'all. I have this top on now. I will say I should have went up one more size. It's a little tight in the breast area, but I feel like because I have this push-up bra, if I wear my other bra, it'll be cute. But let me show y'all real quick. It's cute, but I'm barely making it. <laughs> but it's a cute, cute, cute top. And yeah. I have plans for this top really, really soon. Like I said, I have it in cranberry too as well. And I just think it's a very, very cute shirt. And I'm thinking about wearing like with some shorts or some leggings with some combat boots. Like some, I got some combat boots that is delivering real soon. Okay y'all, so um, yeah, that was the clothes. I feel like that's all I feel like I should try on for you guys. Cause I want everything else to be an element of the surprise. Um, I forgot about this shirt. <laughs> Y'all, this is stunning. Like I said, I have that knit shirt, but I have this, sh this other knit shirt in cranberry, but I also have this top and it's like a sweater and it's so, so cute. I, I, I want to try it on. I, I want to try it on. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm planning on wearing this real soon, but like I said, 
it's still kind of hot, so I don't know why I'm gonna wear it real soon when I know it's still hot outside. But it's just so cute, and it's too, it's so small that I can still get kind of, you know what I mean, small like cropped, where I can get away with it in the heat. So literally, all it is is just a piece of fabric. It, it's not something that should be like worn by itself unless you wear like a a burgundy bralette underneath like stuff that's super super sexy super super cute and y'all know what i'm talking about like you know it could be a lace bralette it could be a black bralette but y'all see how it looks like it's literally just a piece of fabric now if you have smaller boobs than i do then it probably might cover your boobs but i just like the fact that it's uh just a piece of fabric it actually can go over, but I would have to tie this right. You know what, y'all? I ain't got this tied right. But yeah, it can go over like this. And I think it's so sexy. I think that is all the clothing. Let me show y'all some accessories. Starting off with a broken piece, the broken item that I'm getting ready to return. About to take a picture of the broken latch. <laughs> so look at this brown bag. It goes perfect with my brown boots. The problem is, it's not this part. It opens, right? It has a little blue piece of tape on it, you know. Then it has the strap in the inside. Look how spacious this is. Y'all, look at this strap. It's missing another class. Y'all see how it has the little thing? It's missing it on this side. It literally broke off. I looked everywhere for it. It doesn't matter if I found it or not. It's off of the strap. Return. So that's getting returned. So I get my $9.55 back. Because that's how much it costs. So I'm putting this right back in that little bag. Very nicely. That's that with this purse. I'm so upset. Because I was planning on wearing brown. I was planning on wearing brown like soon. So I'm returning that and I'm getting a bag from Amazon. So mad. But speaking of bags, why this bag showed up very nice. Like, look at this bag right here. The only thing I don't like about it, I don't like this little thing, fashion bags and leather. Now this purse is giving rich and expensive. So I got this bag. This is like very cheap, like seven bucks. And I think this is the last bag. And then I'm gonna show y'all a pair of shoes. And I was gonna show y'all the stuff from Amazon, but I'm gonna wait till the next vlog. <laughs> Cause I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. It's too much. So this first, ooh, it's kind of deformed cause I just took it off the thing. This is getting worn very, very soon. This is like a cute little moon shaped leather. I mean leather, leopard bag. And it has the gold hardware on it. So, so, so stinking cute. You know, leopard is in. Leopard, tiger, cheetah, zebra. Hence the pajamas that I got on. And the reason why I got the purse, because these shoes. Y'all, look how cute these kitten heels are. Y'all. <laughs> now, it's not the same leopard. But if you judging, you're not my friend. So I just love this. And I think the camera is making this look lighter than person because in person, this is the same kind of litter. I mean, leopard. But y'all, look how cute this is. Like, it's a straight up kitty cat heel, pointy. Y'all, <laughs> I'm tired. I have a whole lot more. But your girl is tied. Good night. And we're going to continue this haul with Amazon on the next vlog. <laughs> okay, I love y'all. Bye. And I run. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Don't, don't talk about, look what I said, don't talk about me. I know I look a hot mess, but let me tell you something, I'm about to get cute in the next couple of hours. <laughs> Y'all, that workout was 
crazy, but I loved every moment of it. So I did 10,866 steps. Can y'all see that? I know some of y'all, y'all be hating on me, so y'all gotta zoom in and make sure I'm not lying. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I did 10,866 steps. I'm on my way to run a couple of errands before I start getting real, real, real cute and dolled up and whatever. I mean, my outfit is not dolled up, but y'all know what I mean. Like, I want to put some makeup on and look cute and feel pretty and stuff. My my outfit I'm doing, um, I think I'm doing oh, denim and red. I got to make sure that it comes out very well, though, because I really haven't tried on the outfit yet. So. Bear with me. Y'all see that later on. But yeah, um, I have somewhere. I have somewhere to be at one o'clock. I have to get there twenty minutes early, so that means I'm on a time crunch. Am I going to make it? Yes, because I'm Jessica. Um, but I'm on my way to HEB. I gotta get some stuff um, for my daughter. Cause you gotta put your children. First of all, you gotta put you first. Right? We talked about this early in the vlog. I think I was wearing the same t-shirt. <laughs> but you got to put yourself first. Make sure you good, which I did. Make sure I got up this morning, took care of myself, even though, you know, the hair ain't, you know, but I had to do what I had to do. Go work out. Stay hydrated. Make sure you stay hydrated. Stay healthy. Do a little fast cardio on an empty stomach. Do your 10K steps. Make sure you good all the way mentally. Say your prayer. Thank God for another day. All that. And that's obviously out of order, but y'all know what I mean. And then you got to take care of your kid. You got to take care of your child. Even though my child, she's like literally almost an adult. But I still have to make sure she good. And then, once she good, you can go back to, put, you can go back to doing stuff for yourself again. But you gotta make sure you kid. You know, I ain't giving y'all advice. Y'all know what's up. Yeah, I, I have a lot of people that that watch me that are mothers. See, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm not telling y'all what to do. Y'all know what to do. I have a lot of good mothers on here that watch me. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, that's what's going on this morning. Get her some stuff. She said she wants some snacks. She got stuff to do anyway. But I'm gonna get her some snacks and stuff because she wanted some. I said, well, I'm going to H E B. I said, you want some snacks? She said, yeah. So I'm going to make sure she gets some snacks, get what she want. Because I'm not going to be able to spend time with her today. We usually spend time together on Saturdays. You know, Saturday is really not the day where I just be, you know, not really around my daughter. I'm always around my daughter on a Saturday. So it's a big culture shock for your girl. Co if I'm saying it's a culture shock. Yeah. But... <laughs> We have another birthday gathering <laughs> to go to today. Today is a daytime affair. Um, I think we're doing some type of sip and paint. We're going to be in Midtown. Hopefully they want to extend the party. Y'all know I am a party animal to the core. I am an extrovert. Sometimes I'll be forced to be an introvert. Because a lot of people, they don't really be living up to their world and want to do stuff. Um, they be saying they do. But that's a whole nother. Girl, y'all know I don't give a damn. But anyway. Um, yeah, so. That's on the agenda today. My bad, y'all. I had a phone call. We're going to have us a good time today. I'm on the way to HB, so I got to get her some flowers. I want to take care of that now. If I leave at a good time, I'm going to see if I can get her a gift. Um, but that's basically, I want to get myself literally, I want to say like 45 minutes, not even over an hour in getting ready because I really want to go. I know it's last minute, but I've been busy all week. I'm not really a gift card type of girl because I've had my fair share of bad experiences with gift cards. I like to give real gifts, especially when it comes down to the flowers, baby. I love buying my girl some flowers, so we make sure we take care of that now. I don't want to spend too long in this um, grocery store, but I got to get ready. I'm giving myself a cool little hour, and then I'm going to head on my way to get ready, because 
I would, I mean, hold on, hold on my way. A cool little hour to get ready so I can head on my way. Thank God my outfit already laid out. Hopefully it turns out well. If it don't, I'm still wearing it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it happen, Captain. I swear I am. And, and you know, since I've been losing weight, I'm pretty sure I would look pretty good in it. I got a good size in the outfit, so I think I'm gonna look good. Uh, no, I know I'm gonna look good. I don't know why I said thinking. Girl, my confidence is way bigger than that. <laughs> My ego is large. Ain't nobody can really humble me. Girl, I have already been humbled. Ain't not much humble you can you can do anymore. Sorry. You're lost. Um, but yeah, I need to get up in this stove. I might as well just find the first parking spot available because I gotta get down to it. I really do. Y'all know I'm from y'all know I'm from Houston. I said I gotta get down to it. Not D-O-W-N. D-I-N-E down to it. <laughs> I'm looking around because y'all know I be watching my surroundings. I don't play with these people. I'm in a good neighborhood. I still don't play. They be tripping in the good neighborhood. Let me pick y'all up when I get into the store so I can show y'all what type of flowers I'm probably gonna get. Uh, we'll get down to the good Uno momento. Okay, so this is the flower selection of the day. Not much to choose from. I really like this one, but that's something that I would like for my family. Like. I'm not gonna get something that I like for myself. I think that's really rude, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Um, I got this one for the last birthday girl, this one right here. I really like these fall flowers right here. I'm really, the artisan, artesian beauty bouquet. That's pretty, like that one right there. It's very pretty. Um, they got this one. I think this is, oh no, that's pricey. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm trying to get her another uh, birthday gift. Ooh, Lord. I'm trying to get her birthday gift as well. So they got these sunflowers. That is so cute. But that's something you would put in your yard. They have these right here. But I like to get colorful bouquets because you just don't know what their favorite color is. And getting them something where it's kind of like one color, it's not going to, they might be like, I don't like that color. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I know they'll be grateful, but yeah. no, I would get her roses, but uh-uh. That's not that type of point. <laughs> they have the Just Because, which is very small, and I don't like that. It's not tiny, Daddy. That one down here is pretty, but there's They got the Fantastic Fall. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I think I'm gonna get the Fantastic Fall. That's super gorgeous. Yeah, let's see, let's get this one. Okay, y'all, so I'm a little five minutes behind. But we are dressed, the hair is hairy. I want it messy. I had it in these like Bantu knots. And it's giving, but your girl looking good. Just some little red tinted lip gloss, nothing too crazy because my shoes and bag, I'm gonna show y'all when I get to my first destination. My shoes and bag is kind of doing a lot too. <laughs> but I'm gonna wear these nails and this red is a clue to what color my shoes and bag is. So your girl extra today. <laughs> so yeah. We looking cute and i'll show the rest of my outfit in a minute let me get to where i need to be at see y'all in a second okay y'all so we made it to our destination Ooh. let me turn on this ac so y'all can hear me okay so we made it i'm happy and excited i got her birthday gift i'm trying to put her where i put this tissue paper in oh i was like and it was right there behind me. I got her birthday gift together. I'm just putting a tissue paper in it. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Just getting that together. I'm gonna show y'all what I got on in a second. Y'all be like, we saw these before. This is like how I dress. That's what it's looking like. 
I'm lying. This is not how I dress. But it's similar to what I wore. No, not real similar, but close to what I wore to the rodeo. But I'm doing denim on denim. And then, of course, I got like this lace top underneath. It's kind of going down. So, but these bracelets are from uh, Shein Ring. Miss A, Shein, Dee Dee's. Real quick, <laughs> Shein, Shein. Y'all seen these earrings and this necklace before? And I'm here on time, like early. I'm here early, so for a good on time. Um, and the flowers I decided to go with was this one, the autumn ones. Oh no, the artesian ones. Yeah, the artesian. These were cuter. Um, I just love these. And then let me write her name on here. And say who it's from. Obviously. She gonna see me bring it, giving it to her, but still. Got her stuff in here on this little thingy in the jiggy like I usually do. Make sure she sees it. When you're putting your little card in your flowers, I think I talked about this earlier in this vlog. I don't know how this vlog on. But you put it like facing inward so they can look at it. You know what I'm talking about? So I'm about to powder my face. Ooh, my stuff was falling on my purse. Lord. I was like, did my stuff fall off? But it didn't. This is finery, not another cherry. Finery. Can I see that? I know I wasn't vlogging for a while, but this is almost done. So, and my bra showing, but I don't care. <laughs> um, this lip gloss is almost done for, but this is the Nick Mika K. And this place, it, it can get lit, so I'm excited. I'm dressed properly, obviously, because it's like, it's like a bar slash club. But, of course, we're doing everything in the daytime, so. And I think I told y'all about this hair. Like, I did, I put bantu knots in it. Um, this gloss that I'm putting on top of it is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I talked about this in my travel vlog. So if y'all haven't watched that, y'all need to catch up, babes. <laughs> I'm talking about y'all need to catch up. I'm not even a big YouTuber. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so that's how the lips are looking. I want my lips to look juicy. You never know who you're gonna see. And men love that, ladies, just FYI. I got my gum in here. Make sure I throw in a couple of pieces. And real quickly, because time is ticking while I'm talking to y'all, let me show y'all what I got on. This is what we got on. Can y'all see? Got the red boots, red bag, denim on denim. Let me pull this down. We looking cute, guys. That's what we looking like, guys. <laughs> y'all like, I can't see. Let me get up in here. I got her birthday stuff. And we about to have us a time. If I don't talk to y'all no more, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family. And I catch y'all in the next video. Stay tuned, cause it's gonna be footage. Yeah. <laughs> Love y'all. The birthday girl is here. Look how good she look, y'all. Look how cute. Oh, look. Look how cute.
Tell him I'm there if he's calling me. Never slept on a pregnant. Very sound, bitch. See a fuck that I'm not. Black hills, black shades in my hand. Tell him I'm there if he's calling me. You're very silly, man. Blow, blow me. Tap new. I need no tap new things on tap. Got best case, worst case plan. I'm a tight got bitch. To the sea and the street again. Slap, don't threaten me. I'm so good. Me ever like that. I got brothers in the end. Got a pull up right now. You don't even wanna see the way I pull up right now. Let's say it's